What is going on everybody? Jake the Programmer here from DevSlips and in this video we're doing things a little bit differently. So I'm in the process of moving right now. Just finished getting some uh, things to set up the new place and I was literally just like walking out and I was like you know what we need to make a video on this topic and the topic is shiny object syndrome. Shiny object syndrome. Now like I said normally we have the studio all set up but right now we're in the process of moving. So I wanted to just make a quick video and break it down. So what is shiny object syndrome? Shiny object syndrome is basically this. You're someone learning how to code and you're sitting at your computer and you're saying, you know what? <sighs> I'm gonna learn React. I'm learning React. React really popping right now. This is where I want to be. And then, you know, maybe you start learning React for a couple, you know, more days or, you know, a couple weeks or whatever. But then you see, you know, you go to Hacker News or you go to uh, Wired.com or you go to Reddit and you see everyone is talking about Go. And then you're like, okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm going to stop learning React. I'm going to learn Go. This is, seems to be where everyone is going. This seems to be what the industry is calling for. I'm gonna learn Go. And then you're learning Go, you're learning Go. You, you've been learning it for you know a week or two. And then you look at Reddit once again, and they say, you know what? Everyone is saying, go back to the basics. We need more Python users. So you say, you know what? I'm gonna stop learning React. I'm gonna stop learning Go. I'm gonna start learning Python. Now I'm about to drive, I'm about to drive, give me a drink real quick, but we're gonna continue this in just a second. So we are pulling up to the uh, to the drink spot right now. But what I was gonna say is, you know, you what it basically is is you're following these trends, right? And it's easy to get caught up in trends, especially when it comes to software engineering and programming, because there are so much things that are very, very intriguing that we all want to learn. For example, if you're interested in web development and you want to dabble in web development, and then you see that a language like Go is, is, is popping off, of course that's going to drive your attention because you know Go can be used in a variety of things. Same thing for when, you know, if you have an idea or an app idea, you're gonna see that, you know, Swift is the primary use in, in, in mobile apps for, for Apple, and you're gonna say, okay, I kind of want to learn a little bit of Swift. So you're going to spend some time learning Swift. And this is kind of where the problem can really, really start to take fold is because you have this sort of FOMO, right? This fear of missing out. You want to always be up to date on the latest trends and frameworks and what's going on in the industry. And it causes you to really retain zero information, even though it feels like you're learning a lot. Because you might be saying, you know, I spent two weeks learning Go and I feel like I, you know, learned some things, but then I spent, you know, another two weeks learning Python. And, and you you start to get this idea that you're someone who has knowledge of all of these languages and, and frameworks and, and, and this knowledge of programming, when in reality, you really didn't retain any information. And if I was to hand you a project and say, build this from scratch, you wouldn't know what to do. So now this begs the question of how do you solve this problem? How do you solve this problem? And the reality of it is, and it's pretty straightforward and simple, and I hope this advice is, is just quick and easy. And it's basically this, stick to the fundamentals. Stick to the fundamentals in programming. Do not try to go off and learn your own things. Because if you do that, and if you constantly back and forth from one language to another language based on, you know, this idea that following these trends is gonna get you somewhere in the industry, you're only gonna wind up stuck. So stick to the fundamentals. So I'm gonna give you a pretty straightforward path. If you're someone looking to maybe be in web development, right now I'm waiting in the drive through line trying to get this drink, but uh, if you're someone who's interested in web development, for example, this is what you need to do. You need to learn the basics of HTML and CSS and JavaScript. These are your three keys three keys that will help you once you learn JavaScript, once you're proficient in JavaScript, you're going to be able to take that knowledge and apply it to so many other different languages and so many other different concepts. Because once you have the basic understanding of programming, it really makes it easy to be a lifelong learner. So rather than getting caught up in what all of these trends are out there rather than getting caught up in the reddit pages rather than getting caught up in you know twitter and things along those lines or x and things along those lines stick to the fundamentals and stick to your path if you can do that if you can do that for 16 to 24 months you will be job ready you will be job ready if you're looking to be a hobbyist this is still a great opportunity for you to become a hobbyist because you need to have a solid understanding of programming and the fundamentals before you can go off and learn all of these different things i think i'm gonna get a dr phil good that'll be it you guys take apple pay 
perfect. But anyway, you know, that's kind of the idea is, is once you, once you are, you know, familiar with the basic concepts and fundamentals of programming, it really makes it easier to take that and apply it to everything else. So, you know, to save yourself from, from, from having the FOMO, to save yourself from, you know, potentially spinning two to three months learning and retaining zero information, if you stick to the basics, thanks so much. If you stick to learning the basics, and if you stick to the fundamentals, you're gonna find yourself in a much better position. So guys, that is wrapping up this video here. Like I said, I know we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Honestly though, I kind of like the, the, the chill, like, you know, off the wall kind of style. So if you guys want more videos like this, feel free to let me know and we can keep doing videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.